When I originally sat down to make this video, the plan for it was for it to be a TCU slander video because I thought that Alabama deserved to be in the college football playoff until I started doing my research, until I started doing my homework, and then I realized, just like you, maybe, perhaps, that I have this thing called SEC bias. It's this thing where I think the SEC is just the best league in college football. And for the past, I don't know, decade plus, it has been. Except this year, things have evened out a little bit. For the first time in like a really long time, it's not like the SEC, you know, SEC, everybody else. It's like SEC, Pac-12, Big 12, Big 10, you know, and then, and then everybody else. Things are a little bit closer. Things, are, things aren't things are as cut and dry. SEC better than everybody else. This video was originally going to be Bama deserved to be in the college football playoff until I did until I did my research. So I'll start by saying this. Obviously, only four teams get into the college football playoff. Michigan and Georgia, undefeated. You win your conference, you're in. Ohio State, the next best one loss team. Your only loss is to the second best team in the country. I think you undoubtedly deserve to get in over TCU or Bama. The people that were saying that it was like Ohio State or Bama, like, get out, get out of town, get out of town, get out of here. Ohio State 100% had the next best case, in my opinion, to get in. So really it comes down to TCU and Bama. Roll Tide and the Horny Frogs, who do you pick? Who do you got? On one side, you've got the SEC powerhouse. On the other side, you've got the horny frogs. At first in my head, I said you give it to Bama, Roll Tide, but it was just SEC bias because when I broke down the schedule, Alabama just wasn't that good. Alabama has two losses, TCU has one loss. And this is really where I started to break things down. Because in my head, I said, TCU only had one loss, but Alabama played a way tougher schedule. Their schedule was so much harder until I started looking at their schedule. And I actually think TCU's schedule was harder. So Alabama played three teams that I considered bad teams. You've got Texas A&M, who's five and seven, and they only beat them by four. They beat Auburn, also five and seven. Vanderbilt, five and seven, all three in conference. And then out of conference, they play Austin P. Oi, P. Oh, what the hell did I write here? P. A. Austin Austin P. I've never heard of the school. U. L. Monroe, Utah State, and Texas. Texas is a good school. Okay, solid football program down in Texas. Math, they've got Matthew McConaughey as their mascot or something like that. But Utah State, UL Monroe, Austin PE, Austin P, maybe their physical education T, uh, is it, did I write P-E-A-Y or P-E, I'm gonna go, I think I wrote P-E-A-Y. You played half of your games were against schools that didn't have over 500 records. And Texas, was good, but if that's the only team you're playing out of conference that's good, that's kind of a tough look. And then I went to TCU, right? And I said, they don't play anybody tough out of conference, right? Out of conference, they didn't play anybody tough. They played Colorado, Tarleton, Tarleton. Tar also, it sounds like a make-believe school. But everybody plays, make what I realized also doing this is all of these big schools play make-believe schools out of conference. Tarleton, Austin PE, UL Monroe don't sound like real schools. I'm sorry if you go there, but they just sound like made up schools that these teams put on their 
uh, you know, uh, schedule just, just to get wins. They also played SMU. SMU, good football school, and it's an old Texas rivalry. I'm a sucker for old college football rivalries. Keep it on there. SMU lost their program at one point in like the 70s, and now they're back. But keep, give me the old rivalries, you know, give me those old school, old school conference football rivalries. So Colorado also uh, last in Pac-12, not a good football school. So then you go, you know, who did they play who's, who's good? And you've got Alabama played five teams that were ranked when they played. They played Arkansas, who was ranked when they played them. They played Tennessee, who was ranked when they played them. Mississippi State, LSU, and Old Miss. In those games, they went three and two with a loss to Tennessee. Definitely a good football team. LSU is the other loss. Also a good football team. Ended up in the SEC championship. Then you go, wait a minute. TCU played more ranked teams than Alabama did when they played them. So TCU played six teams that were ranked when they played them. Oklahoma, Kansas, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Texas, and then Kansas State again. In those games, they went five and one versus Bama who went three and two. And you go, you know, does it really mean anything to play a team that's ranked when you play them because there's so much football left to play? Like Bama, one of Bama's teams that they played when they were ranked was Arkansas who ended up being six and six. That's like a 500 football team. That's not a good football team. Does that, do you really want to count that? So you go, okay. When things are all said and done, when the chips fall the way they fall, who did they actually play that were top 25 football teams at the end of the year? Alabama played four teams that were top 25 football teams when they by the end of the year. Texas, who they beat. Tennessee, who they lost to. Mississippi, who they, Mississippi State, excuse me, who they beat. And LSU, who they lost to. So if you look at the final top 25 rankings of the four teams that Bama played that ended up in the top 25, they were a 500 football team against top 25 teams. If you look at TCU, TCU ended up with three teams, three games against top 25 teams. They played Kansas State, who they beat. They played Kansas State again, who they lost to. And they played Texas, who they beat. And they were two and one in those games versus Bama, who was two and two. So I give the edge and you decide at home, right? You're smart. You know, you probably, you probably know math. You probably know numbers. You're probably a whippersnapper, went to, went to school, you know, got, got schooling, whatever it is, homeschool, school, school, elementary school. You probably went to school. Personally, I think that you gotta give the edge to TCU. Even if TCU lost one of those games, I think I would say that TCU should still get in over Bama if TCU had two losses, but they don't. It's, it's indubitable that TCU should have gotten in over Bama. The committee 100% made the right decision. TCU had a harder schedule, played better against ranked opponents, and had one less loss to Alabama. The only people who think that Alabama deserved to get into the college football playoff are people from Alabama. 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 I and, and you know what? I, I think it's kind of classless of Nick Saban to have been petitioning for his team to get into the college football playoff. If you think you deserve to get in there, you should have beat LSU. You should have beat Tennessee one of them. And the argument is, oh, Bryce Young was hurt. You know, so what? Everybody's dealing with injuries. This is college football. Welcome to the show, Nick Saban. So I don't feel bad for Alabama. I realized that I had SEC bias. It was really kind of like a spiritual journey for me. I went into this. I didn't realize I had LS I had SEC bias. I thought, I'm not one of those guys. I'm not biased. I know football. Football, I know that. And then you realize, wait, maybe I, maybe I don't know football. No, 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 it's not that I don't know football. I have SEC bias. And if you thought Alabama should have been, and if you still think 
that Alabama deserves to be in the college football playoff. You have SEC bias, you have Nick Saban bias, and why are we rooting for Nick Saban? I've seen so many people who are like, oh, it's better with Nick, shut up. Give me some new teams, maybe TCU, maybe TCU will win the national championship. TCU's not gonna win the national championship, they're on the shot, they're gonna get smoked by Michigan. And if they somehow beat Michigan, they're gonna get smoked by Georgia or if Ohio State somehow upsets them. They're, they're the worst team in the college football playoff. They don't, they don't stand a chance, but maybe they do. But maybe they do. Nick Saban is Darth Vader. Nick Saban is evil. And I, I guess people are like, you know, it's great having like a villain to root against, but I don't care. Find, find a new angle. Georgia can be the villain. They won last year. They're stacked, okay? I am so fired up. And I, I know that Alabama fans are gonna whine. Ooh, we didn't make it this year, but good. Good. You know what? Be better. Don't stink. Be good at football and you'd be in the college football championship. Okay? That's it.